Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. So far, we've talked about many different things related to a truth-based view of the world, and most recently we've talked about the Ten Commandments and the Sacraments. However, for this next season, I'd like to retrace my steps a little and go all the way back to Season 4, where we talked about the authentic virtues. Back in Episode 43, we discussed justice, peace, and goodness, and ultimately arrived at the conclusion that all three of them boiled down to a simple phrase, serve God in the way that He wants to be served. However, there's an even more basic way to look at this obligation, and you only really need one word to describe it. Obedience. Because obedience is such an important point, I think it's important to talk about it, because obedience should be a part of the life of every good and decent person. Because of that, it's important to understand what it really is. Obedience in general just means doing what someone else says, but not all obedience is good. How do we know when obedience is good? Well. If we want our acts of obedience to be virtuous, we need to be obeying God first. All of the virtues come from God, and all of them are focused on drawing us closer to Him and closer to happiness. Therefore, above anything else, God must be obeyed first. As it says in the Bible, Let every soul be subject to higher powers, for there is no power but from God, and those that are are ordained of God. Romans 13, 1 However, we also sometimes have an obligation to obey a human being, too, like our boss at work who's paying us to do just that. Because of that, we know that some people should be obeyed more than others. For example, if my project supervisor gives me an order, and then a short time later the head of the company tells us to move on to something else, we have an obligation. We have to obey the higher orders, which come from the higher authorities. There is a hierarchy to obedience. There are two things to watch out for in this area, failing to obey sufficiently and obeying the incorrect authority when orders conflict. In other words, we can be deficient in our obedience, or we can be excessive obeying people we shouldn't. Either one can make obedience unjust, and therefore unvirtuous. Next time, what is the hierarchy of obedience? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.